In this video, we are going to walk through how to use the new Zoom PWA app for a Chromebook to both join and host Zoom meetings. To access the app, you can click on the apps launcher in the lower left corner. You can type in Zoom to search for it, or you can scroll down and click on the Zoom app. If you don't already have it loaded, you can download it to your Chromebook. In our district, it is automatically added to all district Chromebooks. So then you'll be prompted to sign in to the app or join a meeting with the meeting ID. Once you click sign in, it will bring up this screen where you can click the sign in with Google option and then select your district account and it will sign you in automatically. And then you'll see that this is much more in line with the Zoom desktop app. So it looks just like that version. You can start, schedule, and join meetings from here and access your settings. Now the very important step that you need to do once you join a meeting or host a meeting from this app is click join audio by computer. You will need to do this every time you start a meeting or join a meeting from this Chromebook app. It is that blue button in the middle and then you now are in your meeting and you have the full zoom menu that again is more in line with the full desktop features so you can click on security and manage your meeting you can suspend participant activities hide profile pictures you can access the participants menu on the right it does limit your menu for a moment you can click more to access that again click on participants to bring back the full menu. You can do polls and breakout rooms, again, opening the chat and enabling live transcription or the subtitles. You can open up settings and uh, reactions. Reactions, again, full uh, emojis, just like you have on the desktop app. So this new Chromebook app now gives you more options before you were pretty limited. And now you have more options just like you do in the normal Zoom app. When you open up settings, you can access virtual backgrounds, which was one of the big features that we were looking for in the Chromebook version. So now you have that under more and settings and then background. And then you can create breakout rooms from the Chromebook, um, just like you can on the desktop. And then sharing your screen also aligns um, more closely. You can share your screen, window, or Chrome tab, and then you can share audio, which is a big feature. So click that box um, in the lower left if you want to share audio. You can pop your Zoom window out into a little picture-in-picture, -picture, which is really nice. And you can set up your view, speaker view, or gallery view. So that is the new Zoom PWA app um, and how you can navigate that and how it um, aligns more with the desktop version. So here we are seeing what it looks like if you join a meeting that is set up for our default settings, which is Zoom Google sign in access, it will automatically bring you right into the meeting. And all you'll have to do is click the join audio by computer button and then you'll be in the meeting. Now, if you are joining a sign in to Zoom meeting and you haven't yet signed into the app, this is what it will look like. You will be prompted to join the meeting as an outside user and you will have a preview for setting up your camera and microphone. You'll type in your name. You can remember your name for future meetings and then click join. Then you will be prompted to sign into the app since the meeting um, authentication is set up to sign sign in to Zoom. All you have to do is click sign in. It will bring you to the sign in screen, choose sign in with Google, select your district account, and then you will be brought into the meeting automatically where you can click join audio by computer. So if you are in joining a meeting, you will most likely want to go to the app and sign in first, and then you will be able to join a meeting automatically. If you forget, you will be prompted in those steps that we just saw.